to what is called kiss mode, and the other one is uh, command mode, I think, on TNC. I'm sure you're aware of that. So I wonder if there's a mismatch on the, on that. Maybe the programs think it's in KISS, and I don't know. Uh, that would be something to check. I found your software on the web, and I sent you some links there. I'm sure you were aware of all that anyway. And that's a very complicated program. Well, it does everything. That's, that's a nice program. Um, so, yeah, it could be some incompatibility that way. I guess you're receiving, though. You're receiving on the radio, right? Well, I'm not sure I am. Um, I um, uh, I was before when I was using the software TNC, but this one um, uh, I had the APRSIS okay, but I'm not seeing the PK232. On the other hand, if I uh, close that program and bring up the PK232 software, it, it's all working. So I see that the KISS and also there's the KISS um, something else. Right now I'm set up, I think, in the KISS mode. Um, 232. Uh, there's also a um, simple kiss, simply kiss, and K I S S, and then A G W, and then it's got a bunch of uh, text and C W. Anyway, so um, I guess I want to go simply kiss or kiss. Do you know what the difference between those? I'm not familiar with all the other ones. Um, on my it's just one kiss. Um, but you you have to you have to use like a terminal connect the terminal or a terminal emulator to the TNC and then uh, uh, go into tell it to go into kiss mode because once you put it in kiss mode it's locked in kiss mode. Um, and you can tell right away if you're in kiss mode or not because uh, if, if it's working. If you get the command prompt, then you know you're not in KISS mode, because once it's in KISS mode, it doesn't really respond to standard carriage return line feed. So if your APRS IS program thinks the TNC is in KISS mode and it's not, yeah, it won't work. It won't transmit and probably won't receive either. <laughs>